Number 27, Micah Thomas Jr. from Houston, Texas. Give it up, Texas! This was a long look uh, in that last, you know, the three of y'all, yeah. this really long. What'd you think of that? Uh, I mean, it's no issue with working, you know. It was, um, I, I think it added a little bit of, you know, a competitive fire, you know. To, I mean, to, to, it wasn't just the last group, right? It was, you know, each and every call out. So, you know, the fact that, you know, it wasn't just cemented, you know, in the prejudging that we had to work, just kind of make it, you know, that much sweeter. So. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> How do you think you pulled out the win? Um, I came in, you know, on, you know, crisp, you know, putting in a lot of work. Um, finished top 15, finished 15th, you know, six weeks ago, and uh, turned into champions in Houston. And since then, you know, me and my coach implemented some changes. You know, did those. You know, dedicated myself to the diet and to working out, and you know, everything just kind of, you know, worked out for me. Your two shows this year, uh, any challenges with them? Um, outside of the norm, you know, full-time job, you know, engineer, uh, working from home, family, you know, wife. I uh, got married in March, you know, so just life, you know. So, you know, life on top of, you know, prepping. And, you know, this takes a lot of, a lot of effort, a lot of work. So, you know, nothing that anybody else isn't you know, enduring as well. So nothing special. <laughs> this year, Texas had a huge, rare winter storm. Did you have to go through that? We did, we did. Um, we were fortunate because um, we're in an area that actually has, um, you know, I, I guess kind of a, it's essential in the med center. So, you know, we were fortunate for most of it, but we did go without, you know, power for probably a day and a half. But uh, yeah, I mean, we had to endure it as well. You know, just something else to, to add to the board, right? <laughs> of just things to have to, you know, work through during the, the first prep. So, you know, it's life. What do you think about these last two shows? There's so many pros in these shows. Uh, it's competitive. You know, I, I think um, men's physique is probably one of the most competitive, you know, divisions. And I mean, it's a, it's a good thing, you know, it makes these types of situations that much sweeter. You know, if it was just five people up there, wouldn't feel as it's still an accomplishment but you would feel as you know accomplished it was you know my first show in Houston it was you know close to 40 you know 40 well deserved this one was over 30 you know well deserved so to finish first out of 30 is a hell of an achievement you know especially coming from 15th out of 40 you know so yeah I'm just I'm blessed you know I can't complain as it settled in that you'll be on the Olympia stage it has not yet you know I'm still I'm still no, no, you know, I'm still kind of soaking in it, you know, still, it's kind of unbelievable, you know, um, of course you go in every situation, you know, thinking that you're going to win, you know, wanting to win, but you just never, you know, you never know, subjective sport, you know, so, no, I didn't, I didn't expect it, but I did, and so now it's just, like, once I get over winning, then I can, you know, move to the next, you know, that, yeah, I'm going to the Olympia, and that's been a goal of mine since I started competing, before I started competing. So, a general question about uh, people who don't compete but they're looking to live a healthier lifestyle. You, you have any tips for someone who, you know, is trying to go towards that direction? Yeah, I mean consistency. You know, well, that and finding something that works. You know, and not being discouraged. You know, so it's it's being consistent, finding something that works for you, not some, you know, um, you know niche diet, you know, whatever, and then just you know implementing that. Everybody makes mistakes, you know, you fall off. You're not hardcore competitors, so you're not gonna follow, you know, follow it to a T, you know. So give yourself reality breaks, you know, because you're not going you're not like you're not trying to be like us, so I'm trying to be like us and I mean just be diligent, you'll get there. So that's all I got. <laughs> Dre Okay. Dre Dillard behind you, the promoter. I just like to ask at the end if you want to add anything else. Um Yes, I want to thank my wife, my father, my sister, my son, like my family, you know, God, number one, and my coach, my, uh, my posing coach, you know, and assistant coach, you know, Spoon over here, like just everybody that had a hand on me and just helped me get to this point, you know, nobody's, nobody's left out or unthought of, so thank you.
I know your time is so valuable. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.